no excuse for future Pacific Games to not commit to a similar, if not more robust call for reducing single-use plastic. The individual sports here in Samoa, in other countries, and the Oceania Federations are all responsible for taking the lessons we learned here today and implementing them in their future events. They saw what was possible. They drank from the reusable bottles. They ate in our dining halls and they saw the results of our hard work. And they will take those strategies that we implemented and they will use them in the future and make Pacific and the future Pacific sporting events more environmentally friendly. And we are wearing our uniform. We call ourselves the Team La Pisi because part of our role for the, uh, two weeks during the games, we collected the rubbish uh, from Team Samoa camp. So we measure and we make sure we provide the statistics to the MNRE and then they will share how much rubbish, the plastic rubbish we collected every day. At times we have to go there twice a day. And I even said to the chef de mission of Samoa that you're eating junk food. You know, there's too many lapis, it's too much plastic. I have extrapolated some information directly written by them that came across in their reports. Because of course it was not just about sorting all the rubbish that was coming through in the two locations at Apia Park and Fayata. But also at the end of this exercise was about writing a scientific report worth 20% of their course. So, the change in the plastic waste was a clear sign that the ban on single-use plastics together with the greening of the Pacific Game project was a success. The effects that this change has on the environment is light, but with continuous awareness programs on the greening of the environment, it will have a great impact. If more audits are held across the country and more awareness is given to the public about the harmful effects of plastics to our surroundings, especially the marine environment, then surely the amount of plastic used will be lessened and Samoa can be greened for much longer than just the duration of the Pacific Games. Another interesting activity of the waste cleaning of the game is the waste audit with the NUS students. We were kind of worried that NUS students might not sort the rubbish due to its disgusting smell, but we were so surprised to see them enjoying the seven days activity. It's a very good experience working along with students in doing waste audits. And I hope that one day they will become waste management experts in the future. Although we did not play any sports, but we are gold medal winners in waste management. <laughs> Once again, I thank you, Spread, and our ministry, MNRE, for the continuous support which made this event successful. I want a vision that looks at elimination, complete elimination of um, plastic, whether it be water bottles, whatever form, styrofoam, I don't want to see it. And, and so, you know, that's, that's what makes me proud of the effort of everybody in this place, is that we didn't just want to do something that would benefit us in the now and today, but we did something that other countries will look at and would want to follow because it is the right thing to do. It's something to be proud of, and uh, we're not going to stop here. And that's the message, we're not going to stop here. Uh, thank you so much, Malofa Tai. Thank you for your efforts, appreciate all of you, and uh, I hope that we won't stop here, that we will continue to do this into the future. Malofa Tai, thank you so much.